Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 28. And it shall be, if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of Yahweh thy God, to observe to do all his commands, which I command thee this day, that Yahweh thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken to the voice of Yahweh thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy beasts, the increase of thy cattle, and the young of thy flock. Blessed shall be thy basket, and thy kneading trough. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Yahweh will cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thee. They shall come out against thee one way, and shall flee before thee seven ways. Yahweh will command the blessing upon thee in thy barns, and in all that thou puttest thy hand to, and he will bless thee in the land which Yahweh thy God giveth thee. Yahweh will establish thee for a holy people to himself, as he hath sworn to thee, if thou shalt keep the commands of Yahweh thy God, and walk in his ways. And all the peoples of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of Yahweh and they shall be afraid of thee. And Yahweh will make thee plenteous for good in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which Yahweh swore an oath to thy fathers to give thee. Yahweh will open to thee his good treasure, the skies, to give the rain of thy land in its season, and to bless all the work of thy hand, and thou shalt lend to many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And Yahweh will make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou shalt hearken to the commands of Yahweh thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them, and shalt not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall be, if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of Yahweh thy God, to observe to do all his commands and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy kneading trough. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground, the increase of thy cattle and the young of thy flock. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Yahweh will send upon thee cursing, discomfiture, and rebuke in all that thou puttest thy hand to to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the evil of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Yahweh will make the pestilence cleave to thee until he have consumed thee from off the land whither thou goest in to possess it. 
Yahweh will smite thee with consumption and with fever and with inflammation and with fiery heat and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy skies that are over thy head shall be copper and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Yahweh will make the rain of thy land powder and dust. From the skies shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. Yahweh will cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and shalt flee seven ways before them. And thou shalt be tossed to and fro among all the kingdoms of the earth. And thy dead body shall be food for all the bird of the skies and for the beast of the earth. And there shall be none to frighten them away. Yahweh will smite thee with the boil of Mithraim and with the tumors and with the scurvy and with the itch whereof thou canst not be healed. Yahweh will smite thee with madness and with blindness and with astonishment of heart, and thou shalt grope in the noontime as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and robbed always, and there shall be none to save thee. Thou shalt betroth a woman, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not use the fruit thereof. Thy ox shall be slain before thy eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thy donkey shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given to thy enemies, and thou shalt have none to save thee. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given ones to another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day, and there shall be naught in the power of thy hand. The fruit of thy ground and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always, so that thou shalt be mad, for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shalt see. Yahweh will smite thee in the knees and in the legs with a sore boil, whereof thou canst not be healed from the sole of thy foot to the crown of thy head. Yahweh will bring thee and thy king whom thou set over thee to a nation that thou hast not known thou nor thy fathers, and there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all the peoples whither Yahweh shall lead thee away. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and shalt gather little in, for the locust shall consume it. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but thou shalt neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy borders, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil, for thy olive shall cast its fruit. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but they shall not be thine, 
for they shall go into captivity. All thy trees and the fruit of thy ground shall the locust possess. The sojourner that is in the midst of thee shall mount up above thee, higher and higher, and thou shalt come down lower and lower. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. And all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenedst not to the voice of Yahweh thy God, to keep his commands and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed for ever. Because thou servedst not Yahweh thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, by reason of the abundance of all things, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies that Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in lack of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Yahweh will bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth. As the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation strong of face that shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young, and shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy ground until thou be destroyed, that also shall not leave thee grain, new wine, or oil, the increase of thy cattle, or the young of thy flock, until they have caused thee to perish. And they shall besiege thee in all thy gates, until thy high and fortified walls come down." wherein thou trustedst throughout all thy land, and they shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which Yahweh thy God hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, whom Yahweh thy God hath given thee in the siege and in the distress wherewith thy enemies shall distress thee. The man that is tender among you, and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother, and toward the woman of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, whom he hath remaining, so that he will not give to any of them, of the flesh of his children, whom he shall eat, because he hath nothing left him in the siege and in the distress, wherewith thy hater shall distress thee in all thy gates. The tender and delicate woman among you, who would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter, and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet, and toward her children whom she shall bear, for she shall eat them for lack of all things secretly in the siege and in the distress wherewith thy hater shall distress thee in thy gates. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, 
that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, Yahweh thy God. Then Yahweh will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses, and of long continuance. And he will bring upon thee again all the diseases of Mithraim, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave to thee. Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will Yahweh bring upon thee, until thou be destroyed. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of the skies for multitude, because thou didst not hearken to the voice of Yahweh thy God. And it shall be that as Yahweh rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you, so Yahweh will rejoice over you to cause you to perish and to destroy you, and ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest in to possess it. And Yahweh will scatter thee among all peoples from the one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth, and there thou shalt serve other gods which thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, and there shall be no rest for the sole of thy foot, but Yahweh will give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and pining of soul, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear night and day, and shalt have no assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would it were even! And that even thou shalt say, Would it were morning! For the fear of thy heart, which thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shalt see, and Yahweh will bring thee into Mithraim again with ships, by the way whereof I said to thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall sell yourselves to your enemies for bondmen and for bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. These are the words of the covenant which Yahweh commanded Moshe to make with the children of Yisrael in the land of Moab, besides the covenant which he made with them in Choreb.